pop stars are frequently accused of being frivolous celebrities, but often the music that they make has a deeper meaning and wider reaching impact on people's lives, particularly when it comes to mental health. Paranoia. Bipolar. Schizophrenia. Depression. These are the words we associate with the term mental health, but did you know that according to the mental health charity Mind, one in four people in the UK will experience a mental health problem each year, especially in London, where there's a high need of mental health support. Jenna Jarrett is a radio presenter at Westside FM who wrote a blog about her experience of mental health. I have um, borderline personality disorder and psychosis and I also have bulimia and it took me a long time to accept that I had an eating disorder because I thought to have an eating disorder you had to be severely underweight but I finally went to the doctors and got some help and I'm having therapy for it now and I also have cognitive behavioural therapy so it's kind of it trains you to look at things in a positive way, in a different way of thinking, which I find really helpful as well. Despite these daily challenges faced by people, music is known to help them get through various moments in life. One approach to helping people is music therapy. How we use music in music therapy is that it's a medium through which we can do therapy. So sometimes talking about or talking directly about issues and difficulties can be a little bit intimidating for people, it can feel confrontational or just feel difficult, so having the music makes the therapy work less confrontational. And music inherently facilitates self-expression and the expression of emotion. It's really fun and helpful. It's nice to socialise with other people that have mental health problems because you're all on the same page and understand each other. Music producer Hannah V has worked with a number of artists including Rihanna, Jason Derulo and Tayo Cruz. I really honestly believe music saved me again and again and again and again. I feel music can heal, I think music can unite, I think music is God's language. For Jenna, the type of music is all important. I find it quite relaxing to listen to classical as well, which I find very therapeutic, which is quite surprising because I usually listen to grime, so <laughs> it's like the complete polar opposite. Shaka is a music artist and producer who collaborated with Retri too. I always, always want to make sure that I am helping someone achieve or attain not necessarily happiness, but attain some form of movement. Um, I like to move people. Some performers find their music has a profound impact on people. A fan will come up to me and literally will hug me and they start crying because they're like, I didn't ever think I was going to meet you, but your song got me through a very hard part in my life. Young Londoners told us about their go-to tunes when it comes to lifting their mood. If I hear Ice Cube, it was a good day right now. Um, my day just becomes even more better. You know what, I'll, I'll go with a weird one. I'll say Drake Hotline Bling. It's like the beat is just so catchy and just, it just puts you in a good um, emotional experience. While music therapy is one form of treatment, there are alternative therapies found in the capital. According to the charity Rethink Mental Illness, treatments include herbal medicine, yoga, meditation and mindfulness, and massages. Yeah, I love to go in the park and write music. Um, or like write lyrics and stuff like that. That really calms me down. Going to galleries. Uh, going to museums, roaming around parks, just hanging out with my friends, seeing my family. Finally, for those out there who are suffering, Jenna gives some very important advice. The main piece of advice I'd give to someone suffering with mental health issues, whether they're diagnosed or struggling themselves, is talk to someone. No matter how difficult it is, you'll feel like a weight's been lifted off of your shoulders once you've spoken to someone.